Windows PowerShell has been around since November 14, 2006 and there have been 8 versions of it since that time. In this course, we will use PowerShell 5.1 and if you have Windows 10, then you already have it. If you are on Windows 7, 8 or Server 2012 R2, then you can update to the version 5.1 by downloading the window management framework 5.1. Window PowerShell is backward compatible with previous version of Window PowerShell. Does it make sense to update all the machine in your network to the appropriate window PowerShell version. To do that, search for window management framework 5.1 and click on the first link that's from Microsoft. Look for the download button here, click on it. And from here, you can choose the download you want. If you are on Windows Server 2012, then click on the first one. And if you are on Windows 7 64, then you can click on this one. And if you are on 86, then you can click on this one. And if you are on Windows 8.164, you can click on this one and 86, you can click on this one and go ahead and download it. Once you have downloaded it, you can verify the version by opening the PowerShell command prompt and typing the command $ps version table. Okay, and you can see here the version is 5.1. If you are not on Windows PowerShell 5.1, I will encourage you to go ahead and do it. Most of the stuff we will do work just fine in earlier version, but it is best to have the latest version. And once you are done downloading, let's go ahead and start the course.